ಹೈ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಗೆ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಓದ್ಕೊತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೋತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸಮ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಬೆಳಗಿನ ಲೈವ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋನ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಕೆಲವು ದಿನ ನಾನು ಲೈವ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಅನ್ನೇ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ನಾವು ಹೆರಿಟರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಹೇಳುವಂತ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆರಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಈ ಲೆಸನ್ ಗೆ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ ಜೊತೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆರ್ whether the father is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child justify anta keltare so question bere bere rithi keltare but uttra onde agirutte so baribekagane kelavondu modifications itna ittkondu nu uttravanna baribekagutte that is the most important thing which you all have to do okay so how can you determine the sex of the child so you must know first of all in ee pratiyoba human body nalli pratiyondu cell allu kuda estu chromosomes irutte how many chromosomes are present in every cell every cell of the human body anta nimage gottebeku so how many chromosomes are there obviously nimellegu gottiro hage 46 chromosomes are there so there are 46 chromosomes which are present in every cell of the human body see 46 chromosomes are there no 46 chromosomes is nothing but 23 pair anta artha 46 is nothing but 23 pair anta artha okay so 23 twos are it becomes 46 that means basically the chromosomes exist in pairs anta heltidi basically the chromosomes see chromosomes they exist in the pairs chromosomes exist in the pairs so pair agidre na ee chromosome na ire anta karitivi we will call them as diploid ee word nu gottirli diploid anta heltidi what is meant by diploid diploid is nothing but the chromosomes which are existing in the pairs so chromosomes nama overall body nalli pair up agirutta diploid agirutta andre no see except in the reproductive cells nimma reproductive part nalli iruva male reproductive part alli agirbodu female reproductive part alli agirbodu so reproductive part ge bandre the chromosomes exist single so what do we call it as we call it as haploid haploid agirutte chromosomes enagirutte reproductive cells alli haploid agirutte okay na so it's very important chromosomes entire body nalli enagirutte diploid agidre reproductive cells alli haploid agirutte yake concept gottagbeku andre see before you describe who is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child it is important to know that what exactly is behind that ಏನಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ವಿದರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ವೇ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹಾಫ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸೊ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ where in the reproductive cells okay so now in the mother's reproductive cells also there is 23 chromosome 23 chromosome irutte okay you must know the reproductive cells are half they are haploid and they are they are not existing in the pairs understand why anta nimge further gotagutte so totally here 22 plus 1 chromosome will be there 22 plus 1 chromosome in the case of father as well as in the case of mother also it is 22 plus 1 so totally 23 so this is the first thing which you have to know so the next thing is see in the father the chromosomes the chromosomes which determine the sex of the child right so the chromosome type which is present in the father is xy so now idu yen anta heltivi andre father has mismatched pair of chromosomes anta heltivi father has mismatched pair of chromosomes what about the mother see mother has the perfect pair of chromosomes that is nothing but x and x so mother has a perfect pair of chromosomes 
father has the mismatched pair of chromosome so now what happened during reproduction yen agutte reproduction aagbekadre so reproduction aagbekadre okay see during reproduction father either sends x chromosome or he can send y chromosome but mother does not have any option she always have to send x chromosome only that means there will be only x chromosome which is present in the mother because it is not mismatched it is perfectly paired perfect agi nage pair up agide suppose during reproduction if father you know contribute x chromosome x chromosome this x chromosome unite with the x chromosome of the mother so xx results in the formation of the child that is the girl child which which child will be reproduced so the girl child get reproduction so when x of the father unites with the x of the mother very important so the next thing is what happens if y of the father combines with x see if y father contributes y chromosome this y chromosome will combine with the x chromosome of the mother and it results in the formation of the boy child now you tell me who is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child is it father or mother absolutely all got an idea right it is the one who is the father is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child it is because father has the option either he can send x chromosome or he can send y chromosome but mother does not has option she always have the x chromosome in her body many of the people have the misconceptions the people who are not educated always blame the female for, for reproducing the girl child see whose mistake is it it is not i cannot say it is a mistake it is the one you know scientific reason i can say that it is a father who is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child it is because he has the mismatched pair of chromosomes so it depends upon the type of chromosome which has been contributed by the father okay which chromosome will be contributed by the father is responsible for the you know birth of that particular child whether it is a girl or boy i hope you got the answer so the description of this answer will be sent in the telegram group my dear uh, students so do check out my telegram group the link will be given in the description box below i hope you understood this concept very well okay you must know how many chromosomes are there first so now i would also add one more point at this particular point so what is that see as i told you there are 23 chromosomes here where in the sex uh, that is male gamete sex cell of the uh, male and even in the female it is 23 chromosomes correct now why not 23 pairs see during reproduction what happened 23 chromosomes from the father will unite with the 23 chromosomes which are present in the mother it results in the formation of how many chromosomes 46 chromosomes 46 chromosomes is nothing but again 23 pair of pairs of chromosomes children so 46 is nothing but this is a single cell this is the count of a single cell see every cell in our body has 46 number of chromosomes dear students it should be 46 it should not be 46 pair okay so that is the reason father contributes the haploid number of chromosomes that is 23 and mother also contribute 23 chromosome this unite to form 46 number of chromosomes which is a single cell so what do we call the single cell as we will call the single cell as a zygote zygote is the first stage of the you know the development of the or as a result of reproduction so what happens fertilization takes place the fertilization is nothing but fusion of male and female gamete so as a result of this you know the fusion of male with the female gamete it results in the formation of zygote so there is lot of things which you have to know when i start talking about the bio so when i when we particularly talk about the sex of the child remember to write the concept which i have been explained okay so the answer will be shared in the telegram group don't forget to join my telegram group and if you are new to my channel do subscribe the channel and share the videos with all your friends to the maximum as extent so that everyone gets benefit out of it so in this video i'm just explaining you one concept in my next video i'll come up with another topic of the lesson heredity and evolution until then take care study well and don't waste your time